Hi, um, today I'm going to talk about how to randomly sample from, uh, from your data set in Tableau. So uh, Tableau, again, it's a visualization tool, so there's no some uh, statistic uh, or some other functions uh, in Tableau. So we have to build our own sampling um, function in Tableau in order to achieve the sampling uh, uh, function a feature in Tableau. So first of all, in this view, I break, I show the order ID. So uh, I have a list of order ID from the super store database data set. So my goal here is to uh, randomly sample uh, num n numbers of uh, order ID here. So again, first of all, generate the random generate a random number per ID. So this is the calculation I used. So again, fix ID level of detail. Uh, so for each ID, generate a random number. So this is a num This is a function that is uh, not officially included in Tableau, but it still exists. So you can either use this or use some other method to generate random numbers uh, in in Tableau. The reason for taking the average is that for level of detail uh, calculation, you need to do the aggregation function. So here I just select average. So the, basically, just the average of one number it, it, it just itself. So I can. So that's why I use the average here. Okay. So let's plug it in. Um, okay. I'm just thinking about some better way to show the to to to. Then take the dimension. Um, make it discrete. Okay. So as you can see, that for each uh, order, for each order ID, I'm giving, I'm, I'm generating uh, a random number here. So uh, the random number is, uh, is a number is uh, follow the distrib the random uniform distribution. So as you can see, all the numbers are between zero and one. So now let's say I want to sample sample. Uh, uh, no, simple um, simple data that are about like uh, let's say let's say fifteen, so which is uh, less than a hundred. So in um, in order, so in order to sampling data that is for the, about like a like a in the in less than a hundred. So here I. So here I basically ram, uh, multiply the random uh, numbers by a hundred. So basically, what I'm doing is just shifting the decimal point to to the right uh, for two decimal points. So that uh, this point will become a number that is uh, greater than zero but less than a hundred. So I'm shifting uh, multiply by a hundred to shift to shift uh, the decimal point. And now let's take a look. Discrete. Um, let's say average. Actually, should be dimension and discrete. Okay. So as you can see, that I'm just shifting the decimal point for each random number. So now I'm just getting a number that is uh, between zero and a hundred. So if you want to sampling data that is uh, that is less than a thousand, then you probably want to want to uh, multiply this number by a thousand. And this one will become a um, three digit. And uh, I'll talk about the reason later. And then I'm going to create a unique rank in here. Let me go the screen rank. So let me show you the function here. So basically, just for each of the for each of the random integer, uh, get a unique rank. So rank unique. So for example, even if you have same number nine and nine, it will give you return one, two, three, four. So it will give you a unique rank. So yeah, maybe maybe so when we multiply by a hundred, then for the first two decimal point, maybe some of them are. Are, are, are exactly the same. So we need to use the rank unique function to create unique uh, ranking per uh, for each one. So here, so up to this point, there will be no duplicate numbers in, in this column. And finally, we can create this uh, select n function. 
So basically just the rank that is less than the number that we want and then put it into the filter. Set it equal to true. And then we will have top five. So again, generate the random number and then multiply by a hundred or by, 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 by the number that you need it. So in this case, I'm only going to generate numbers, uh, a, num a number sample size that is less than a hundred. So I can multiply by a hundred. So because I only need two digits in, in my, in, in, in for the, uh, from my random ID. And then I do the unique rank to make sure that, so if I do the normal rank, this all 99 will become one, the rank will have one, 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 one. But because I do the unique rank, there's only one out in the one in the first position. There's only one number in the second position, only one number in the third position, etc. So that's, um, so up to, so up to this part, we will have unique number and also, um, uh, and, and the number that is uh, that is generated uh, randomly, and then we use this function here to hold to 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 filter the number so that here we can define uh, how many sample we want. So in this case, let's say I want like uh, forty five samples. So here are a list of uh, forty five random sample. Okay. And uh, well, um, another thing is that um, when you Refresh. Um, let's take a look on this random other ID. So you can see that 14, 15, 17, 16, 17. So if I refresh the data, you will note, and then later you will, you see, you can see that the number of the number uh, the the your selection are also changing because uh, when you refresh the dashboard, this function is creating a different set of random number for a different ID. So now, so so. And then when you select the top five again, this will be another set of uh, different, uh, th another set of uh, five samples. So let's change it again and notice how it changed. So yeah, every time when you refresh the dashboard, uh, your the, the random function is creating a, a new set of random ID for, for the function. So that's why when you, whenever you refresh or even when you publish and refresh, um, your 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 dashboard will always showing different num different random sample. So uh, this is how um, since Tableau doesn't have the sample function, so we have to create our own uh, uh, function uh, sample function uh, in Tableau. Um, so in, in R you have the you have the sample. You, you can directly call the sample so, uh, directly for in R, but in in Tableau we have to build it, and this is the how we generate random number, multiply, shift the decimal, and then, and then do the ranking, and then, uh, and then keep the top, uh, top and uh, rank. That's how you sampling data. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.